now we will go to the third and the last algorithm page replacement algorithm that is optimal page replacement think of this as exact opposite of least recently used since in least recently used algorithm we were replacing the page that was least recently used that is we are finding the index that was minimum from the pages that have appeared in optimal page replacement what we will do is we will find the maximum index out of the pages that will appear in the future for so for example the string is seven zero one two five and two and the only two page frames first seven and zero will be loaded since the page frames are empty then we encounter one then what do we do is we check for each element that are present in the frames we check which one appears farthest from the current element that is at maximum distance from the current element so for example seven when we will check the right side of the string and we will check out of 7 and 0 which will appear the farthest that is maximum index so out of 7 and 0 you can see 7 and 0 won't appear in the string that is the at a distance of infinity they will be never used in the future so we can replace either one of those suppose we replace 7 ok now we encounter 2 we will see out of 1 and 0 again both of them are never used in the future at a distance of infinity we can replace either one of those suppose we replace 0 with 2 now out of the encounter 5 out of 1 and 2 you can see that 2 will re reappear in the future at an index just after 5 so if we replace 2 then again we will have to replace it into page frames so what does optimal page replacement do since it looks into the future which will be which one of the pages will be used it will replace the page which won't be used for a long time in the future so for example in this case out of 1 and 2 1 is never used after 5 but 2 is immediately used after 5 so we cannot replace 2 but instead we will replace 1 only and that's it now how do we implement this in code what we will do out of the reference string we will check for each element present in the frames queue we will check its future string and find the element which has the max index which is exactly opposite of least recently used hence optimal page replacement can be thought of an algorithm which finds the page number which is used which is used later most in the future so let's quickly go through the code so we will clone the pages as we always did then we will use a hash set frame skew so that the elements in the frame skew are not duplicated and an index hash map which will keep track of page number and its last index more like future index which is the greatest page faults is nothing but if the CPU requests a page and it's not already present in the frames and page hits is that if it is already present in the frames queue so the main logic is we find the page that is used later most among the pages that are currently pages in the frames queue so what do we do is this loop iterates through each page number that is each page and checks if the frame queue is empty that is it has some empty space it hasn't reached its capacity what do we do we check if the current page is already present in the queue 
we do that by you calling this contains function if it is already present it will return true and we will invert it to false that means if it is already present then we just increment the page hits counter and we update the hash map by inserting the current page and then implementing this find next index of this current page function for the case where the frames queue dot contains returns false that is the page is not already present in the queue we will invert it make it true and then we will check the indices so first we will add the page to the frames queue since it is not already present and it is a page fault we will increment the counter then we will find its next index how do we do that we implement a separate function find next index so let us find out what does it do first we will have to pass it the current pages array and the process the index of the process that is currently we are processing the page number that we are processing so what this is a very basic for loop what do we do is we receive the index of the current page and we start ahead of it one step ahead of it and check for all the pages for all the pages after the current index where does the page match with the current page so what is this logic suppose this was the reference string and there were only two frames first both of the frames are empty so 7 and 0 will be inserted as is then we encounter one and then what do we do we check each frame and for each element in the frame we find its next occurring index for the frame for the page 7 the next occurring index is you can see that it never occurs in the future so next occurring index is infinity that is a very large number that index class has and for zero you can see it appears again at index number 4 hence out of these two the maximum value is associated with 7 so we can replace page number 7 with page number 1 so this is the main logic we iterate through each page in the frames queue we find its next index and then we replace the one which has the maximum value of next index this is the reason why i said in the beginning that it is exactly opposite of least recently algorithm where we were checking the pages that were already appeared and out of and present in the page frames then we find the one with the least appeared index here we will be doing exactly opposite we will be finding the one which will appear the last that means it has the largest next index value now let's go back to the code and see how the for loop is finding that for us okay. so the for loop takes the current index of the page that we are processing and starts from its next index and goes until the very end of the pages array now we compare the current element by using my pages current index that is the current page number with all the page numbers in the future and if they match we return index where it matches this way we will find all the occurrences and out of those we will return the one which has the maximum value and if a, if some page never occurs in the future we will just return integer dot max value which is the infinity value that I was talking about so let's go back to the function call again so for the function once we have returned the next index we will store it and store the current page number with its next appearing index in the index hash map we increment the page faults we use this loop to iterate through the frames queue and print the elements that are present in it and if the frames queue is already full that it means it has reached capacity 
we have to perform the page switch placement so for that how do we do that since in liu found we found a minimum index here we will initialize a variable maximum index we'll set it to minimum value and a val variable to store the actual page number then we iterate through the frames queue and for each page in the frames queue this is a for each loop what do we do is we get its next index from the index hash map this function dot get gives you the value for the key that you provides as a parameter and then we store it into temporary next index then if we ever encounter a temporary index that is larger than the max index we set the max index to the temporary index that means we find the maximum value out of the values that we have processed this is a very standard way of finding the maximum value out of given array then we also store the value since later on in the code we have to remove the page number from the frames queue and add the new page into the frame queue since we have added that means it was a page fault we increment the counter and also we have to find the next index of the page that we just added and store it into hash map for future use and if it was already present in the frames queue that is the else part we will increment the page hits counter also we will have to update the next appearing index of the current page so we again call the find next index function and give it the next appearing index and store it into the hash map that is just updating the hash map and that's it guys for this video this was the optimal page replacement algorithm with its code thanks for watching subscribe the channel thank you